Charlie Squad, it's now the end of our Disney vacation because we're now going to our new hotel which is Cabana Bay in Universal. So we're driving there right now. We were going to go into Hollywood Studios today because the park we haven't done but we checked Busy Day Finder which is a website, just type in Busy Day Finder Orlando and it tells you what parks to avoid and it's super busy but we thought we'd go there anyway got to the car park and they had an overflow car park so we we're like now nah, we're gonna give that one a miss and we're just gonna head straight over to Universal welcome to our new hotel Cabana Bay at Universal we're in our family suite at Universal Cabana Bay this is the kitchen area and this microwave actually cooks pizza and baked potatoes and I just thought it would just be a standard microwave so that's good and then down here you've got a fridge and then you've got a bin and you've got your sink area and they give you some plastic dishes and I'm guessing we've got some plastic cutlery somewhere too oh here it is and then you've got your Coffee machine. Yeah, pretty big, look. And as Bella said, how high the chairs are. Oh, but best thing is they spin. Oh. oh. And then we've got this seating area, which is also a pull-out bed for Molly and Bella. Got the TV here. Then we've got the two beds for Mummy and Daddy. And we've got another TV here. And here I'm just guessing is, yeah, a, like closet space. We've got storage just here. What about the bathroom? Two drawers. And the bathroom. And Molly wants to show you the bathroom. The bath is tiny, look. Tiny compared to um, Old Key West. But still, still good enough to have a bath in. Yeah, look. Get a little area here. Got you get some facial soap called Zest. And that's not really something you really want to see, but it is a toilet. Yeah, it's a toilet. It is horrendously hot right now. Oh, the sun is literally beating down on us today. So we're now going to walk over to the shuttle. Oh, there's a bus there. There's a shuttle bus there. Cross Molly. Every 10 minutes, there's a shuttle bus to the park. Hey everybody in. One, two, three, and four. Universal Studios, Florida. Currently in the Mardi Gras party. So throw some beads at you? Yeah, yeah. Totally going on that. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, apparently we're going to have a look. Look, go on Molly. In, Bella in. Just checking the heights and Bella can go on this. But they can't ride alone because they're not big enough yet. Almost, yeah, but not quite. Come to a panda. Upstairs. Yeah. Or a little memorabilia. When the first floor lobby lights change to this card colour, proceed up to the main staircase. When the second floor lobby lights change to this card colour, check in with the NBC page at the studio entrance. Even when you're in Jimmy Fallon, it does take you a long while to get through the queue. We've only got through like first wait stage. the first wait stage. But they do have places to sit down with like interactive yeah. tables. They've got screens on for like showing videos and stuff. So it, it does yeah. sort of go by. So if it's your first time here, sit down. Yeah. Because it takes a while. Yeah, we're now going to go through to the studio and then I believe then we go on the ride. Into row number two. Six, five, four, three, and two. Oh no, no video recording.
take this. Don't go on that. I think I'm gonna throw up. I did warn you though. That's all. It's not even worth it. I don't even... I did warn him. Yeah, but you know, I was alright on the one in business. Yeah, this one, Hedna. Soren is like a relaxed driver. That's not. It's all these like jolts and stuff. That is actually quite a good ride, the mummy. I'm gonna try and convince Holly to go on it because last time me and Holly were here, she didn't. Now, well, a few years ago, she might have uh, well, got a bit more brave now. Let's check out Holly. No. Ah. Oh. That's alright, don't worry about it. I know. You're not tall enough either. You are so close, yeah. Another couple of years and you'll be fine. Here we go, a nice signpost. Diagon Alley, Simpsons Ride, Kid Zone, Alien Attack. All this way. Just the square station. But it's not, because we're in 30 degree heat, is it? Yeah, and plus there's not as many people around. Yeah, it's nowhere near as busy. But this, to me, looks more like sort of a, a theme park. Nice bright colours, all the lights and flashy things. When we first come, that was open. First open, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, that was it's awful. Different. So many people everywhere. Yeah, but to me, that looked a little bit carnival to me. Well, I'm guessing it's got you. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I like the bright colours. It's nice. Like so I know for a fact I'm not going to handle that well. So. It's only a 15 minute wait, I'm saying Poles and the kids can go in But yeah Motion sickness, no thank you I'm still feeling rough from uh, Jimmy Fallon Oh man So I'm gonna sit down And chill out No photography or videotaping Really? Is it that impressive? That's probably because they don't want people dropping their cameras. Yeah. No filming. Really? Hey, you can meet the Simpsons. Really? <laughs> I asked her, but she do not like people where yeah. you can't see them unless they're That's why I said really, because you're not a big fan of those, are you, Moles? No, no. I don't like costumes, but she's alright with Disney now. Yeah, just, yeah. Just. Duffman there. Duff beer people. Jebediah Springfield. Moes. It's actually white in the chicken. Yeah. Three apple juice, one donut, chicken tenders and tater tots in water. For twenty eight eighty four. My opinion is Disney numbers are really nice and Disney fries are really nice. We haven't got fries here, what are they? Tater tots. Mm. These so are really chewy. These are like hash browns though, so. So I had to get one of the giant donuts, so I'm gonna crack that open. Big donut. Mm. Nice. Not the greatest. It went better. Nice though. It's got very thick ice on it. Yeah, that's what I like. So these are areas of the park where you can just get sprayed with nice cool water. Or you just let your kids mess around. I don't think I've ever been this close to a duck. Hello, a duck! Hello, duck! Look! He just doesn't care. 
I didn't know they had smoking areas in Universal. Yeah, gotta get smoking area. Oh. I thought there was smoking area, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there you are, guys. There's smoking areas in Universal Studios, so you don't have to sneak off like that man in Disney. Yeah, hiding right behind you, rides. Right. Yeah, it'd be I like. I saw him. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Animal Actors on Location. Please put your hands together and help us welcome to the stage one of the company's top trainers, your host. Hey, everyone. I'm sorry. it and go on to E.T. My followers will know that I have a massive phobia of E.T. But then I could just not, not look. Hold that. Like, but that puts me out into a gift shop. There's like, there's E.T. there. Yep, E.T.'s all in there. No, let's not go on it. No? They don't know what E.T. is anyway, do they? <laughs> I'll go on it with her if you ask it out. Sorry, boss. Alright, we'll all go on it. The mystery, the suspense, the adventure! E.T. Adventure! Pulse. <laughs> He's in there! You and E.T. will be making your 3 million light year journey on these bikes, but don't worry, you don't have to pedal. But you will need an interplanetary passport. So before you leave with E.T., tell your first name to one of our assistants and they'll give you your pass. Rupert? Rupert? Oh, sorry. Your name for me? Where's Your name? Your name? Molly and Bella. Alright. Your name, sir? Brian. Let's do this. And then yours, Brian. You Thank go. you. <laughs> Like, she didn't go in. <laughs> this should be nothing. Oh well. I, I realised you weren't typing them. Yeah, you were just putting in numbers. Yeah. We've got some set enhancements in progress there. Oh, you meant to Yeah, we've been told you can't film any of the rides. Woody's Coaster, how about that? Actually, it's pretty good. Oh, Belly? Are you that tall? Molly is. Almost. But Bella? Yeah, you're tall enough. That fits a lot of people. Ah, look, again. No video recording. What is up with this thing? What? No video recording. Snap, man! Check out Optimus Prime. He looks badass. Bella, check. Yeah. Do you want to transform us? Bella, yeah. My name. Button. Press 
crush them. <laughs> yeah. Rebel. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I'm not being serious, I need to sit down. Oh. All the cool stuff, I would look at it, but I feel so sick. Holly, take the, take the camera. You look good on simulators, by the way. We didn't know that was a simulator. Go in this diagon alley. Let's go this way. Ta-da! We're here! Whoa! This is a bit much! Wow! Was not expecting this! Woo! Cool! This looks amazing! What? I'm not a fan of Harry Potter! I've watched... I read the books up to number six, I watched all the films, and I liked it, but I'm not like a really big fan, but this looks absolutely amazing! Yeah, looks, so looks so good! That, Molly, that dragon breathes real fire! What? I am literally gobsmacked at how sort of magical this looks. It's badass. Green got bank right in front of us. Holly um, went on the Harry Potter ride, Gringotts Bank, and Bella wasn't tall enough to ride, so we decided to do a child swap. I waited in the child swap area. I wasn't going to go on anyway because it's another simulator, and I'm feeling really rough because of the last two. So I wasn't going to go anywhere, but I waited in child swap where they told me to wait and I get a text from Holly saying she's at the front of the Minions so goodness knows how long I've been sat there and she's been waiting for me so now I've got to walk all the way to the front to catch up to her oh and it's like actually really dark now look at that
your first Mardi Gras. Hopefully it's your last. <laughs> you weren't expecting to catch the parade, but I lost Callum. Well, I was saying child, wait here for ages. Molly, did Bella give you her beads? Just checking in with you, Holly Squad. It's now, I believe, five past midnight. Callum's been in bed for about three hours and he really panicked me. And I am still panicked because he was like, I feel really dizzy, I feel sick, I don't know if I'm coming down with something. But he did go on motion rides, which he absolutely hates. So he might just have a case of vertigo. And I was just getting undressed and I've noticed something really odd um, around the area where I've had a bone tumour. I'll try to show it to you just now. So that's really weird. Hopefully everything is okay with me and Callum. And we'll see you tomorrow for another day of fun.